Hello and welcome everybody to my next tutorial. Again, this image is provided by Operation Photo Rescue and I'm just gonna work on it. In the last video I told you that using the high pass is quite is a not very accurate feature. So in this video I'd like to show you how you can do a better job of separating the frequencies and the color of an image. So let's begin by showing you how the high pass filter works. We're going to use a layer, new, layer via copy. Once again, layer, new, layer via copy. Select the bottom layer, use the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, type in a radius that lets all the blemishes disappear. That looks very good, about 7 pixels. Choose the upper layer and use the filter, other and high pass. Choose exactly the radius you entered in the Gaussian blur and click OK. Now we are going to change the blend mode to linear light and reduce the opacity to 50%. Yep, that's it. Now, this is the image separated into frequencies and this is the original image. As you can see, the results are quite good, but in the highlights there's a great loss of information and of course we don't want that. So what we're going to do now is delete the both layers and use a more accurate version of the high pass filter. We're going to choose layer, new, layer via copy, layer, new, layer via copy once again. Choose the lower layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, radius of 7 pixels, Choose the uh, top layer and use image, apply image. What we're going to do now is choose the bottom layer, the blending mode of subtract, a scale of 2, an offset of 128, and press OK. Now once again, we can use the linear light blending mode. We don't have to reduce the opacity. And as you can see, there's, oops, there's little to no difference in the image. What we're going to further do is separate the color from the image. So we are going to use the background layer, choose layer, new, layer via copy, put that on the top of the stack and change the blending mode to color. Okay, nothing happened here. Now we are going to use the bottom layer, uh, the high pass layer, and choose Edit, Fill. We are going to use a 50% gray and press OK. That looks horrible, but we are, what we are going to do now is Edit, Fade Fill, and fade it to Hue. Okay, once again, no difference. Do the exactly same steps on the bottom layer, on the low pass layer that we just blurred. Choose Edit Fill, 50% gray. Edit Fade Fill, and choose the blending mode of Hue. As you can see, little to no difference. Of course, there is a little difference. If you really want to go nuts with it, you can work in 16 bits mode and then you'll experience about no difference at all. I can show you the difference if you want to via a new layer via copy from the background. I'll choose the blending mode of difference. Difference lets every pixel that is exactly the same in the top layer and the difference layer and the layers below appear in black 
and everything else appears in color. So what we're going to do now is try to select the RGB layer and we see that no more pixel, uh, no pixel are more than 50% selected. Okay, sounds nice. Select, deselect. And now I'm going to show you how much difference there really is. We're going to use the levels. As you can see, there these are the little pixels that are a tiny bit changed. Looks like very much pixels are changed, but in fact it's just a little, very, very little difference and you'll hardly see it by eye. Okay, now that we've seen that we can work on different frequencies, how can it improve or fasten up our work? And I'm going to show you that now. To begin, we are going to disable the bottom two layers and choose to work on the low pass layer. As we can see, for example, here, there's a little light, light spot. So, what we are going to do is choose the clone stamp tool on dark mode. A nice soft edge brush. And just darken it up. Or we could just select this part, this very dark part, roughly, select, modify, and feather, feather it with about, let's say, 20 pixels, and choose image, adjustments, levels. Now we can lighten it just a little, just a tiny little bit. Okay, that looks good. Select, deselect. And if you want to see what we've done so far, this is how we started, and this is how we ended up. Now we can choose to work on the high frequency layer, and this is a very great feature in my opinion because you can now choose to work without having to really um, be careful about the color because the color is in the topmost layer or about um, the rough frequencies because they are apparent in the low pass layer. What we're going to do now and therefore make our brush a little smaller and just remove those blemishes here. Choose Lighten for that light spot. And we're done. So let's see what we have now. This is how we started, and this is how we ended up so far. Now we can further use, because we can see that the color in this part is not quite the same as in the other parts. So what we are going to do is once again choose our clown step, this time on normal mode, select a source area and just clone the color over it. And in this case we don't have to watch out for the detail. We can just clone the color without any other trouble.
as you can see, I've done a very quick job and I'm just working with a mouse, so it's not the most accurate job I've ever done, but it still looks very clean and nice. And I guess you can imagine how fast it would went without having to record and hold my microphone the whole time. So um, it's a very good time saver, at least for me. I hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it, learned a few things. And until the next time, goodbye.